Hi, I'm Mark Verstegen, and today we're going to focus on Intermediate 10. It's going to give us a little movement prep, get us really warm, going to focus on some great strength, and follow up with a little ESD. This workout will be performed on Friday, so let's leave it all right here. Are you ready to go? Yep. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get our mind and our muscle by starting off with hip crossovers. We'll get right down on our back. We're going to progress these up just a little bit. Anita's going to get those arms straight out to her side, pull that belly button in. We're always going to start with the feet on the ground. We'll just do that for a couple of these 10 reps that we're going to do here. That's the way. Good. Keep that belly button right in your spine. Now let's go ahead and take it right to your knees up toward your chest. And we're going to start going in a little more difficult ones right away. That's going to give you more return on the same amount of time. Good, Anita. I feel a little more stretched there, aren't you? Yes. Good. A little bit more work. <laughs> Good. That's where we have five left. Let's go ahead and do this now. Let's take your legs up a little bit straighter. Notice Anita straighten out her lines there on her pants. Good. And she's taking it over. Now, Anita, that's a lot tougher, isn't it? <laughs> she's like, never wants to talk when she's working out. That's I a don't. great thing. I can't talk when I'm working out. <laughs> Good. I want you to focus. We have two reps left. Now, if you can, take your legs all the way up, toes up toward your shins. Oh, you're going for it. Going for it. There she is. She's a performer. Great job, Anita. That's the way. And rest. Well done. Anita, we're going to have you roll Kay. over on your tummy next. The next exercise is called scorpions. It's going to stretch out the muscles of your chest, activate muscles on the back side of your body. Anita's going to fire her right glute. She's going to lift her heel right up and over toward her left hand. So you see that she's getting a nice stretch right through the, this quad, right in through here. That might be sore from yesterday's yeah. workout, and that's why we're doing it. Now again, fire this glute on the back side. <laughs> Leave your hands right down. Good. And I want to make sure that as we reach that, reach it right down into the ground, and then we'll bring it right back in. Okay, let's go ahead and reach it up. Fire glute nice and low. Put that toe down. And Anita, it's real important to try to keep that knee real low okay. right into here. That'll deepen up the stretch. Okay. Good. Let's go to the other side. That's the way. Really reach back. We have five total reps, so that leaves you three to go here, Anita. Big fire of the glute. Really activate here to stretch here. Good. And go again. They're so called scorpions. Stretching the muscles of the chest. The sort of out of your body. Sort of sting-like one, too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and some of those tight muscles, it may. Yeah. Good. That's the way, Anita. Great job. That's it. Let's go one more on each side. Now really fire the glute. That's the way. Big fire and reach. Good. You feel a little bit in your chest as well? Oh, yeah. Good. I think that completes our set. Well done. All right, let's go ahead and hop right up. All right, Anita, I'll have you start right over here. Okay. We're just going to step out, go in that lateral lunge. You should know it by now. Both toes straight ahead, both feet flat. Anita sits those hips back and down. She's got a real nice straight leg here. Then we're going to go over and just work your way to your right. Good. We're going to do this for five reps. Good. Four more. And each rep, I want to sit a little bit lower, sitting those hips back and down. Good. Challenge yourself now. Anita, that gives us how many there? We got three. That Let's was... go ahead and just work your way. Oh, she's going to get in the fourth. <laughs> Good. Don't go off the stage. Then we'll work our way back. Good. You really straighten out that right leg. That's the way. Notice the knee is holding great posture through here. The weight's sitting back on her heel. Good. A lot weaker right. on this side again. Good. Feel those in, a, in a balances. Exactly. Good. Okay. Now you owe us one rep this way and one more rep this okay. way to complete our set. You just have to use the space that you have, and that's fine. Even if you have to do this in place, Bottom line is we're getting the work done that's necessary. Okay. Excellent job with the lateral lunge. The next one we're gonna try is gonna go into our drop lunge. This is almost like what we pull from dance. We're gonna keep our shoulders right in through here. We're gonna bring it back. Okay. We're gonna get that nice long arch, but we're moving backwards this time. So we're gonna drop into that lunge, get the big arch, push back, and I wanna try to go right into the next step. If you have limited space, you'll just step forward, We'll arch again, and we'll push back and go to the next rep. Okay. We get to move all the way across. So I'm going to have you start way up here in the front, okay. right by the medicine balls, and step back. Okay. Good. Turn into that front leg. Big reach. We have five aside. Good. Good. Oops. That's all right. Now, I need if you can push back powerfully, try to go into the next step. Okay. This is really advanced. Oh, she <laughs> nails it. Good. If not, just go right back, get your feet to even, and then we'll drop right back again. Ooh. Now there's a okay. lot of, no, this is a lot of balance, Anita. Okay. Good. 
and you made it look easy. Directions. Well, you know, I still have a few tricks <laughs> up my sleeves. <laughs> Good. That's the way. Big reach. Nice. Really reach, fire the glute, push the hip forward. Nice long lines. Big stretches on all this front side of the body. Excellent. Okay. There you go. That was your best one. And we're going to do one more rep, each okay. leg coming back. Get all five reps. Now, Anita just said that was her best one. I expect that to happen. Each rep that you do, I want to make sure that we actually can get in, and it's going to dial in your balance. Great job. Okay. Thanks, Mark. That's why we're doing movement prep, to get your body into a state in which it can function optimally. If we just go right in the workout, you're not using all your body's abilities. So the next thing we're going to do, you know you love it, <laughs> sumo squat to stand. Okay. Take those feet just outside the hips. We've done these before. Grab those toes, elbows on the inside. We're going to pull those hips in. The chest is going to be up. We're really try to pull the hips forward. Then we'll keep that chin in line. Then we're going to keep that back totally flat and just straighten out to the hamstrings, holding on to the toes. Okay. We'll drop back in. We have this for five reps. Okay. Good. Now notice the knee is really nice right in through here. Good posture. And then let's keep the back flat. Yeah, perfect. And let's go again. Good. Really pull. Pull deep into the muscle. Good, Anita. All right, mind in the muscle, pull chest up. That's it, you should take the slack out of this. I don't wanna see it all bunched up. Okay. Good, and up, three, we have two left. Big chest up, really pull the chest up, try to get your hips forward, okay. and then in. So at the bottom, you're almost grabbing those toes and almost like pulling your hips forward right through your toes. That's it, great set. You ready to go? Our first pair of exercises is the alternate dumbbell bench press. We're gonna do that with a dumbbell reverse lunge. So I'm just gonna grab our Kaiser bench here. I'm just gonna roll that out. Okay. I had to get a license to drive these benches. Yeah. Go right there. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna go is our three points of contact, feet, hips, shoulders. That's not changing. Both arms are gonna be up. You need to kick the weights right up. Arms are long, core's locked in. We're now gonna go one arm at a time, bringing it down. We have eight reps. Bring it down, up and plus. So drop it down, up. So we have a nice long line through here. That's the way I need it. Now notice Anita, big inhale, good exhale. She's taking it slow on the way down. She's accelerating on the way up. Slow on the way down, fast on the way up. Slow, fast, get that great rhythm. Doesn't mean your body's all over. It means you're locked in, having good force. Good, Anita. Good. One more right. Good. Big breath in. And blow it out. And rest. Great set, you guys. Now, right now, I want you to just take a real quick inventory, Anita, of thinking about how hard was that. So the next set, after we get the adequate rest, where we can take that next set. Okay. All right? You don't need to share it with us. Okay. But just keep that in mind for yourself. The next thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and take these and lighten it up. And we're gonna go dumbbell reverse lunge. Okay. Another great exercise. So as our upper body muscles actually start to recover, we're gonna go back downstairs and the dumbbell reverse lunge is gonna work our pushing muscles on the lower part of your body. Okay. So Anita's gonna start out. She's gonna take this great posture, shoulder blades back and down, tummy tight, and step, big step back. Good. Now she's gonna come in, catch her balance, the knee is behind the toe. Now look at this nice position here. And notice she's so strong. And then we're gonna step back forward. And she's gonna step back. It's real important that you have this top leg flat and when she fires up, she's gonna fire from that glute. Okay, we're gonna have this for 10 reps off each leg. Good, that leaves you eight left. Let's try not to hit that back knee. It's a really common thing until your body kinda knows where it's at in space. Yeah. Good, excellent Anita. Good. You're really doing a nice job. Look for Anita's ear right down through her hip. She's keeping a really nice straight line. And you're seeing nice angles. And I think that's really important as you look for this posture to your thigh, right into your shin. You're creating great angles. Good, Anita. You feeling it, aren't you? I am. Good. If she's not talking, I know she's <laughs> feeling it. And this part of sports school is about work. So it's time to start to push yourself. I don't know what you're holding back for. You're gonna be able to adapt from this. We have a little recovery coming <laughs> the next couple days. Good. Last one. 
and rest. Anita, if you aren't exhausted, <laughs> something's wrong. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Good. Let's go ahead and put those ones away okay. while we rest. Okay. Good. Back to our alternating. Back to our alternating Dumbbell. bench. We have eight more reps, and he's going to kick the dumbbells up. Now remember that first set. If it wasn't challenging enough, get a little bit more weight. Okay, Nita's gonna take it down. Up. Now notice that Nita really always pushes nice and long out of this right here. Good. Seven left. Always long. Nice fluid movement. And again, this is gonna develop the upper body muscles that press her chest, the front of her shoulders, and right into her tricep. It's a good what we call multi-joint exercise. Wrist, elbow, shoulder. Great job, Anita. That's the way to work. Good. Good breath in. When in doubt, things are getting tough. Lock in that core. So I can really push. She's doing a great job accelerating even when she's tired. She's into her last rep. Now here we go. Finish power. Even if the dumbbell doesn't go fast, fast and rest. Nita's gonna bring the knees up, take the weights right down like a champ. <laughs> How'd that set feel? I think I'm sweating a lot now. That's sweating a little before now a lot. Yeah, you know, you notice that she didn't say perspire. We're here to sweat at sports school. <laughs> perspire, we sweat. We're here to work. Are we correct? That's right. Yeah, she's like, if I wasn't now, I'm sweating after this one. All right, we have one more set of 10 for our backward lunge. I'm going to stick with the lower weight. Is that okay on that this one? That is fine, Anita. Yeah. But if you feel like you can go up, you go ahead and grab and go up. Don't ever let anyone limit you, okay. especially yourself. Here we go. Mm. Step back, good, nice angles, and let's crank right through these. Really keep that belly button drawn in, great posture. Good, nine left. That's the way. Good, Anita. Good. Nice job. Another good balance exercise here. It really is. And what I want you to do right now is your mind should be in that muscle. How do I execute this properly? Perfect posture. Look at the posture. I'm coming back. I'm firing for my glutes. You guys know what to do. I need you to start to focus on the inside part of your body. Good, Anita. You're achieving your goals every step. Good. Now, these are challenging. Come on, you guys. Up, fire glutes. And get up. Nice job, Anita. You can do it. Fire glutes. That's it. Last one on this side. That's it. Last one on the side, fire glutes, and rest. Great job. Thanks, Mark. Old-fashioned work. We're going to go into that one arm, one leg dumbbell row. So I'm going to take this bench right up for Anita. If you want to use the side of your couch, that would be great. We're going to do this a little different. Last time we started with the right hand down, the right leg down. This time we're going to start with the right hand down and the left leg is gonna be down. So we have a same, the weight in our dumbbell, our right hand, that same leg will be up. So you have a nice okay. long line in your body. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a little bit more room there, so okay. I'm just gonna wheel that out. Okay. Let's go ahead and flip that front hand up. And remember, as the right arm holds the dumbbell, we're gonna lift the right leg this time. So we're on the same side. This is gonna feel a little bit more awkward. We're gonna do it for 10 reps. Good, Anita's firing glute, nice long line. Good, that's it, seven more. Really slide the shoulder blade over and back. It's a time to be strong, people. Time to be strong. Get that set to count. Every rep, three more, two, one, and rest. Great set. That one's harder than the... It is harder. Yeah. And this is because the weight of your balance, we're kind of taking the weight away from that center. So your body has to work a little bit harder. Just another challenge here at yeah. sports school. All right, Nina's going to keep just a little bit of weight on that hand. Bring up the same side. So the dumbbell's over here on her left, and the weight is over here on her right. So she really has to stabilize more on this hip. Okay, I'm going to straighten out Anita's hips a little bit more and just roll it down. You're going to feel more of a stretch in that hamstring. Good. And the big key, lock in the core. Nice long line right through her, almost as if she's lifting her heel. Good. Three left. Two. One. And rest. Great job. I'm going to break out the physio ball so that we can do a physio ball leg curl. Okay. If you need to put us on pause to do that, you do it. But we're going to hop down. We have our ball. We're going to go through this. Put the feet right up on the ball. 
We've done these before. We should start to be a little bit better at them. Key points, toes up toward the shins. Legs are gonna remain straight. Belly button's in and the knee is gonna definitely raise up so we create a straight line. That will be our starting position. She'll then lift the heels right in two so she has a straight line from her knee, her hip, and her shoulder and let it right back out. We have this for eight reps. Seven more, Anita, good. In, slow on the way out, good. And in, slow on the way out. You guys need to hit pause to be able to get that technique, get it, that's the way. Now Anita's taking her arms in a little bit closer which advances the exercise for these last four reps. If you're feeling really cocky and you want to take your hands and put them right up over your chest, that would make it even harder because your base of support is less. I don't think we need to do that. I don't think I <laughs> want to try that one. Last one. Ooh. And rest. Okay, so now we're going to go back and I will actually help you up here. So we've worked there, the upper back, when we just worked through the glutes and the hamstrings some more, and we're going to go back and get right back on it. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah. If you need to get a little bit more challenging weight, Go ahead and grab it. You can take that up. That's why we're always taking an inventory to see how hard the first set was, so hopefully I can get a little stronger the second set. We always want to get better here at Sports okay. School. All right, Anita, here we go. Look at that great posture right there. She's hitting it. We have 10 reps. That's it. Good, eight, seven, six. Notice she's doing a great job, five, four, She's sliding that shoulder blade back. Two, one. Uh-oh. And, <laughs> and it's always gonna be a constant battle. And that's the thing is you really have to focus on everything you do here. That's not by accident. You should be able to do this. This is challenging your body and it's a lot of fun. Okay. Darn it. That was a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> that leg straight. We'll do better this time. Roll that hip over. Now it may feel a little more stretch. All right, here we go. Good, really lock in that posture. Again, a little bit more challenging for these reps because the weight is supported over here, but then you have your dumbbell on the other side of your body. Good, knee just really stabilizing this hip. She's really fighting hard to fire this glute right here. And rest, great set. Want to get better? I do. Good, let's get down hard that pussy ball leg curl. It is hard work, but you tell me one thing in life that has ever come easy. Nothing. So don't expect people to give it to you. You're gonna have to go out and earn it. And if you want to be a great, be in great health and look great, your body's functioning great, you've gotta put in time. There's no ifs, ands, ors, or buts about it. Okay, straight legs. We have eight more reps, toes up toward the shin. And they did a great job firing the glutes tall. Good. Toes are staying right up toward the shins. Makes this exercise a little bit easier. To make it tougher, go ahead and just slow out or slow down on the way out. Good, slower on the way out. Uh, you're trying to scratch your head and say, Mark, did I ask to make this tougher? A few of you may want to do that. A few of you may still need to hit pause to try to finish up this set of eight. Okay, I need the last one coming up. Good. And, oh, she's really <laughs> cocky. And rest. I need a great I had job. to make up for the last one and the ball slipped. <laughs> <laughs> now, as we have that exercise, if you want to do extra sets of any of these, just hit pause on your video on demand. Go ahead and do one more pair of exercises, and then we can go on and move to the next set. Are you ready? I'm ready. You've been doing a great job. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't have that pause button. I know that's that, right. I know that we're still looking for one. I saw you <laughs> earlier. You couldn't find it. That's right. Next, we're going to go through a dumbbell alternate curl to press. We've done this exercise before, and now we're just going to get a little twist to it. Now again, you can use something a little bit higher, but we're gonna use this for today. Put that front leg up, lean into it. Here's how I've done dumbbell curl to press in the past. We use both arms and we press. We're gonna do this similar, but Anita's gonna bring one down as one is up. They're gonna meet in the middle and then we're gonna switch just like that. You got it, Anita? Got it. Okay, we're gonna do this for eight reps off each side. Good. Now notice Anita's great stability in her trunk. There's not a lot of movement here, so she's having to stabilize more right there in the core. Good. The hips are tall. She's pushing out of that hip. Anita, that is great. Notice how high she's pushing that dumbbell. Love it. Great job. That's the way. Three left now. You can do it. Three left. Good. Really get long and long. Anita, you're doing great. You doing okay? Yeah. Good. Your scapulas are really tracking well over here. Notice there's not a lot of movement from this part of her body down. That's exactly what we want. And we're wrapping up here. Last one to the right, last one to the left, and rest. That is a humdinger, isn't it? It is, it sure is. <laughs> Good, go ahead and put those away. 
The next thing we're gonna do is go into another new exercise, okay. but it really goes down to those core fundamental movements of squatting. So we're gonna grab a dumbbell. This might be around the same weight that you did dumbbell bench press with. So let's go ahead, Anita, and grab um, 15 pounds here. Okay. And we'll just grab one dumbbell. Let's go ahead and just bring it right out to the stage here. And what we're gonna do, we have these dumbbells that have dual handles to them, but we can actually use just a regular dumbbell and grab it around the outside. We're just going to set that dumbbell down right on the floor. We're gonna take our feet just outside our hips. We're gonna hold this perfect posture. Shoulder blades back and down. Tummy's gonna be tight. We're gonna sit the hips back and down. We're gonna grab the weight and I'm gonna stay in this position the whole time. You should always be able to read your chest. We're gonna extend all the way up, firing our glutes at the top. And then we're gonna come back down. Chest is up, hips sit back and down. And this will really allow you to get good extension. And we're gonna be working the ankle, the knees, the hips, and our postural muscles. This is what we call the dumbbell deadlift. Okay. Okay, so perfect back, posture. Really down. make sure now at that bottom position. Great posture, look at that. Your belly button has to be tight. And we're gonna fire the glutes on the way up. We're gonna do this for eight reps. Good. That's the way I need a perfect posture. Really think about leading with your chest on the way up. Now the muscle that fires out of the bottom is right down here in the glutes. You feeling that, Anita? Yes. Good. Key point, weight on the midfoot to heel right here. Now notice the angles. Does Anita come down? It comes down. Just good angles through the body. Good, Anita. You have three left. Good chest up. It's a big exercise. Good. Tummy's tight. Shoulders back and down. Excellent. Anita, I know this is tough. Posture, posture. Now fire the glutes. Good. And set it right back down on the floor. So now we're gonna go through and work on that dumbbell pullover extension. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab our weights and I want you to go around 12 pounds. We'll leave that one okay. right there for the next set. This next exercise we've done before. We're just gonna go through and do it again. Just do it a little better. You should be able to have your weights recorded and if you don't, just find something that you think should be in the ballpark. It'll probably be real similar to your curl to press. Is this one at a time or? We're gonna do these both at a time, okay. just like we did the bench press. Anita's head will just be slightly off. Feet, hips, shoulders in contact with the ground. Going old school right here. Drop, pull, and then extend. Again, this exercise, go again. We have this for eight reps. Good, Anita. This is gonna make sure that she stretches right through here, works her triceps, and then brings it up. Anita, I love the power. Oh. Pull it, good, <laughs> nice job. Ears, drop the elbows, pull and extend. Anita's doing a great job of staying nice and stable right through this lower half of her body. It's important as she stretches, she'll actually put this area on stretch and use it just slightly to pull the dumbbells up. We have one more rep, Anita. Stretch and pull. Good. Okay. Let's go ahead and rest. How'd that one feel? Oh, that was challenging. But good, good weight though, I like that. You know what, I love the response too. It should be challenging all the time. But that's why we're going through this order, using the pause button less, picking a few different exercises, as well as some that you're familiar with, and it gives you a great workout as we go through it. Great intensity, let's yeah. go ahead and put those back. I think these are my next weight. And you're ready to go right into it? I'm ready. It? <laughs> what can I tell you? She's getting after it at sports school. She's sitting at the front of the class. All right, let's go ahead and switch um, up legs. I think I have my left up. I think you're right. We're gonna hold perfect posture. Remember this one, we're gonna alternate. One's up while one's down, perfect. Here we go for eight reps. Nice, Anita. She just jumped right into <laughs> it. She's a machine. Good. Curl it and press it. Nice job, Anita. Again, nice long lines. Look at how stable she is right through here. You almost see no change through her body and through here. Anita, great job. Good. This one's a lot of focus. It really is. <laughs> this is kind of like, what is it? Scratching your head and rubbing <laughs> your belly or something yeah. like that? All right, walking and chewing gum for some of us. Good. We have one more off each arm. Good. Curl it. Good. Great set, Anita. Thank you. That was our alternate dumbbell curl to press, focusing to get a lot more stability into your core and into your hip. I'm She's ready. Not talking. I'm She's ready. not talking. She's working. <laughs> Great job. All right, the next one is our big exercise. This is our dumbbell deadlift. Keep the, in mind, always perfect posture, always sitting the hips back and down so the weight sits right back here on our midfoot to heel. This is not an easy exercise, so really get your mind and your muscle. Let's lock in the pillar, 
Shoulder blades back and down, tummy tight. Squat down from the bottom position, lock in. Fire the glutes on the way up. Make sure you're most susceptible to have anything go wrong. Good, that's the way. We have eight reps here. Anita has six left, glutes. Now it's really important to watch the angle that Anita has with the floor, that it stays the same from the bottom position, right up off the floor. She's not taking her hips and lifting her hips and then lifting her chest. She's leading with her chest. Great job, Anita. Good, Thanks. we have two left. I know you're tired, lock in your posture. Now look at this angle. Yeah, it was good. Good. And last one. Great job. Okay, now careful setting it down. It was a lot easier the second time around. Not easy, but uh, more coordinated for me. That is a great point. A lot of times our body learns the first set and expresses it the second set. But you know what? Even though that was easier and better coordinated, she's still breathing. I'm still breathing. And those legs are still pumping right there. I'll go ahead and put this weight away. Okay, I'll get ready for the next she's one. She's going right to the next one. <laughs> if you need to hit pause, hit pause. Catch your rest, because that one really is gonna make you tired. And if you're not using enough weight to make it challenging, then you're just cheating yourself. She's just going. Okay, <laughs> head's just slightly off right here. Arms are straight up nice and long. Again, she's gonna go to the ears, drop it. Good, eight reps. That's the way. Good, big stretch. Excellent. Anita's not getting a big arch in her back here. She's staying real drawn in, right in there in that core, the area just above your pelvis. And that's gonna help her ribs stabilize so that her shoulder blades have something to pull from. Really important concept. You know what else she's doing? Slow on the way down, fast on the way up. We have two reps left. Big stretch, look at the nice stretch. And extend, good. A nice stretch right through here, and then extend. Anita, I love your work ethic. Great job, and rest. Good, and bring it right back up. Terrific. I was gonna say, that was the last one, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna be one way or the other. Anita's gonna be fatigued right now, and we're gonna finish this off with a little bit of our energy system development or your cardio work. Again, let's go outside if you can so you can move your body. Hills or stairs, just around the block. If you have to stay inside, look for your bike. Use your stairs in your house, whatever it takes. We're gonna do three minutes easy, two minutes hard. Back to three minutes easy, two minutes hard. Three minutes easy, two minutes hard. And then I want you just to relax and get a nice 10 minute cool down where we can carry on that nice conversation. And what I really would like you to do is just think about what great steps you took toward attaining your goals. And either we had a week like that, finish off by this next hard little part of the workout, I think you should feel unbelievably proud of what you've accomplished. I think so too. Excellent. I know I do. Well, you know what, you should. <laughs> Anita was unbelievable getting these workouts done. She's sore, she's gonna be a little bit tired, but I'm gonna go put her through her paces in the ESD workout. We'll see you next time at Sports School.